two to three second delays on searching, the, the bugs incurred when dragging and dropping files, it was all just a figure of my imagination until finally on that showroom floor at Computex, I got answers from multiple people saying, no, it wasn't in your head and it's actually a problem. And it has to do once again with the IO driver being moved directly off the CPU. So one of the main reasons I thought my 3950X felt snappier than my 13700K is because the design, they actually used Infinity Fabric to tie the IOH into the chip itself, whereas the 13700K, like we had said, is located on the board. There's much more latency between those two things. And the reason why the 10900K feels the best out of all of them is simply because it's on the die itself. So like I was saying earlier, if you're just using your computer for gaming, you probably won't notice this. And if you're looking at the raw numbers, such as Cinebench scores, or anything related to actual performance metrics, you're gonna see much higher numbers on the newer processors. During the recording of this video, Tech yes City actually launched a second video going way more in depth explaining exactly what's going on. Here's an example of Latency Mon, which is a benchmark tool to tell you how latency works on your computer. And uh, as you can see here, the 13900K is quite a bit slower than the 10850K. And again, you can see right here, he's just doing some basic transferring of music files. And you can see that the 10850K is just walking all over the 13900K. Again, I will leave his video linked down below. Please check out his video. It is way more in depth and he just does a way better job at explaining everything that you need to know. So according to all the new information we have about 14th gen, it's pretty much just gonna be a refresh of 12th and 13th gen, which isn't bad, but if they don't fix these 